This is Raymond Donald Hong. Last fall, the fight for marriage equality for same-sex couples reached a bump in the road in the legislative process when California Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger vetoed Assembly Bill 849, sending hundreds into the streets in many cities in protest. For the latest in the struggle, we head over to the judicial process where, at City Hall, several Asian Pacific Islander community leaders and same-sex couples spoke out in support of marriage equality on Valentine's Day. The press conference coincides with the recent amicus brief signed by a broad coalition of nearly 30 API organizations and filed with the California Court of Appeals in San Francisco that supports the Wu versus Lockyer case challenging California denial of equal marriage rights to same-sex couples. Plaintiffs Lancy Wu and Christy Chung are the parents of Olivia and say that the inability to marry places them in legally vulnerable situations that opposite-sex couples never encounter. We tried to get married and waited over seven hours with high hopes only to be turned away. That day and for many days after we have tried to find the words to tell our seven-year-old daughter Olivia and help her understand why her two moms who love each other so much cannot get married. We can assure her that our family will always be together and that Lancey and I will always love each other. But there are no words to justify discrimination or prejudice. Having the right to get married holds so many opportunities for us. Of course, we deserve all the rights, the legal protections and rights that our married friends have. But most of all, in my heart, emotionally, I want all of our friends, all of our family, and the entire world to know how much I love Lancey. Stuart Gaffney's interracial parents' marriage was illegal in Missouri. It required the U.S. Supreme Court and not vote a referendum to overturn all of the anti-interracial marriage laws in the remaining states. I think back 50 years ago. And what if they had put the laws about white people being able to marry Chinese and other Asian American people up for a vote? 95% of the public opposed that. And Stewart's mom and dad, our family, would have been wiped right off we would have voted out of existence. On CNN's Larry King Live, conservative national radio talk show host Janet Parshall said, What I have against it is that it's a pretend family, Larry. It was God himself who defined family as one man, one woman, and that union, everything else is a fraudulent misrepresentation. How can we be a pretend family when we're raising this beautiful seven-year-old and we have all of the same issues that any other family has. You know, is she getting her homework done? Is she eating her vegetables? You know, are, is she getting to bed on time? You know, we provide and we care for one another. We, we, we have created this amazing home, loving home. We have friends and families around us. We work in the community. We, we work at our school. We volunteer. Um, how you know, how can we be pretending? Right. I mean, it just uh, Does it she makes think that these no families sense. don't exist? This year marked the second for Stuart Gaffney and the Gay Asian Pacific Alliance in marching in the Chinese New Year Parade in support of marriage equality. Uh, uh, what an honor it was to be in the Chinese New Year Parade um, with this beautiful family, their, uh, Christy and Lancy and their daughter Olivia, on a float um, and, and go through the streets of Chinatown together um, celebrating um, our families and being supported by Asian American clergy as well. There's actually a huge contingent of Asian clergy who uh, walked with the float, um, showing that we are part of the community and actually we felt really embraced by the community. As we rode through the streets of Chinatown, people just waved and cheered um, and these were people who are not there for our rally or something. They just saw our float and they were like, yeah, you go. That's great. We support full equality under the law. We love your families. Thank you for being here. The amicus brief can be viewed online at asianequality.org. In San Francisco, this is Raymond Donald Hong for Outlook Video.